Why is Pokemon's most broken ability not banned in Little Cup? In every big competitive tier, there are rules. Some rules are Pokemon and the point of the tier. Use mainly legendary Ubers, use bad fully evolved Pokemon or decent midway evolutions with the Violet, use baby Pokemon, all those for example. Other bans are for moves, mostly for luck reasons. Guillotine, Sheer Cold, Fissure are all just basically luck, which isn't really skill based. Evasion boosts are generally banned as not being able to hit the opponent is not only not fun, but it's once again just quite random. There are also clauses, which are mainly to nerf broken or luck based strategies. Freeze and sleep claws are common, which allow only one Pokemon per team to be frozen or slept, as those two statuses are frankly overpowered. But one common rule, which is implemented in almost every tier, is strangely absent in my preferred tier, Little Cup. But why are Arena Trap and Shadow Tag legal in Little Cup? Arena Trap and Shadow Tag are both abilities that prevent the opponent from switching. The only difference is that Arena Trap doesn't affect flying types, and neither of them affect ghost types. Switching is a pivot all mechanic. Get it? Yeah, sorry. Disallowing the opponent to switch just inherently breaks the game. If your opponent only has one check to your sweeper and you just remove it, then you just win. If the opponent is scared of even KOing one of your mons, because if they do, they'll get trapped and revenge killed, that seems pretty broken. And it is. But why isn't it banned in Little Cup? Let me explain, and if you want to see more Little Cup, subscribe, it's free and it helps me out. But here's the deal about Little Cup. Most games don't last long. The average Little Cup game is no more than 20 something turns, maybe 30 something if you have two slow players on defensive teams. It's certainly not the multiple hundred turns of OU Stallfest that we hate. So in Little Cup, is switching an Amon to trap and KO just one Pokemon really that overpowered when you could just switch in any other Mon that can also 2-3 hit KO almost any Mon in the other team? Extreme power is so common in this tier that a guaranteed kill just isn't even that broken in comparison. Especially because only two Pokemon even have trapping abilities that are legal. Trap Inch, which is hella slow, but it does hit like a truck, and Gothita, which is so frail, it basically has to outspeed the other Pokemon to not get one hit KO'd itself. Both these mons are good, and almost all of that is admittedly due to Arena Trap and Shadow Tag. Also Diglett was legal, but it was banned for being too good. But when you've got Pokemon like Shelter that can sweep with just one free turn of setup, Snivy, which boosts its special attack by two stages every time it attacks, and uses a base 130 power stab move, and demons like Mudbray with attack stats that almost belong in OU, my point is, yes, trapping is broken, and quite possibly uncompetitive. But so is almost all of Little Cup, it's the whole point of the tier. Maybe the real broken mechanic was the friends you made along the way.